Congress is taking aim at robocalls. Lawmakers say they want the incessant phone calls to stop already. Yeah, West Virginia Republican Senator Shelley Moore Capital is a co-sponsor of what's called the Traced Act. It would require phone companies to install technology that in identifies, that is, robocalls before they reach your phone. 13 News Washington Bureau correspondent Bree Jackson has more from our nation's capital. In these divisive times, there's one thing most Americans can agree on. We hate robocalls. It's an issue that crosses state lines, party lines, phone lines, and unites uh, all Americans. There's now a unified effort in Congress to track down and punish the phone scammers. Senator Shelley Moore Capito is a co-sponsor of the bipartisan Trace Act. So we're giving uh, the FCC more teeth. Senator Capito says the bill gives the FCC more time to charge and prosecute violators. In addition, it increases penalties to $10,000 per call. Members of the telecom industry support the legislation and encourage not just heavier fines, but stronger criminal penalties for repeat offenders. Put the people that are making them behind bars. Senator Capito tells me that the Trace Act would also force phone companies to do more to stop robocalls. The bill would require phone companies to implement technology that can identify and track spam callers. They're harder to detect, they're harder to disrupt, and uh, harder to block. Capito says she's confident Congress will soon approve her bill. We will get this to the president's desk. If it does become law, supporters say it would be a key weapon in the fight to end robocalls. In Washington, Bree Jackson.